30 DNA links a suspected armed carjacker to the kidnapping and rape of a Largo mother. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Laura Harris. Police say the brutal crime happening in front of the woman's three young children before the accused rapist forced the woman at knife point to do go take money out of an ATM. Our Jacqueline Inglace reports. Sitting outside most days, Sandy Frazier gets to know her neighbors well. But she's learning the young father who lived in apartment 605, she really didn't know at all. I was flustered. I think everybody was sort of shocked. On April 8th, Pinellas Park Police say 25-year-old Taylor Foster committed an armed carjacking. Within an hour, a trooper spotted him on I-4 in Hillsborough County. Inside the stolen car, his wife and their children, ages 5 and 3. You'd never think he would have done something so stupid. While in jail, police ran Taylor's DNA, and it came back matching an unrelated and unsolved rape on April 6th that happened at the apartment complex where Foster lived. She had forgotten to lock her slider th th that night because she was so tired. Largo police say Taylor wore a mask and came armed with a knife, first raping the woman in front of her children, then forcing her to drive to an ATM to take out money, all while he held a knife to her throat. Something, I think, flipped. Mentally. According to a study by the Department of Justice, 82% of sexual assault victims know their attacker. And police say it's likely Taylor knew this mother from around the apartment complex. When it first happened, right after that, my roommate said, when you go in that house, make sure the front door is locked. In Largo, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.